South Korea's People's Party wrapped up their final round of presidential primaries. An Cho Su, the man who made waves when he jumped into the political arena in the last big election, has been chosen as the centrist left bloc's nominee to run in the May 9th early presidential election. Jim Young Gil starts us off. After a seventh and final round of primaries, the People's Party nominated its founder and former leader An Cho Su for president on Tuesday. I will be a young president who prepares for the future by exchanging ideas with talented people. I will seek future job growth by preparing for the fourth industrial revolution. I, An Chol Su, will become the first president to break away from all habits and open up our country's future. An's nomination was based on a combination of votes from party members and the results of a public opinion poll weighted in a 4 to 1 ratio. In the polls, An has been steadily catching up to the current front-runner Moon Jae-in of the Democratic Party, and there's early speculation that the election could come down to the two of them, largely overshadowing other minor figures. An and Moon are both running for president for the second time. They actually forged an alliance in the 2012 presidential race, but An ended up bowing out and throwing his support to Moon. The medical doctor turned softer mogul and has strength in his centrist position, appealing to swing voters who would neither support the conservative camp after the impeachment of former President Park nor the liberal frontrunner Moon. Although An's rise in the polls has put him ahead of the conservative contenders like Hong Jin-pyo from the Liberty Korea Party and Yoo Seung-min from the Padun Party, he's got just half the support Moon has. However, if conservative-leaning voters don't like their options on the right and turn to the center, then that could work in favor of An Cheol-soo. Kim Young-gil, Arirang News.